Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered right here. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for August 21st, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP Club section right here, which has all of the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, now we're really getting down into the home stretch of the Major League Baseball season. Teams are vying for position. Lots of uh, teams are still in contention for a wild card position, and the, the, the uh, division races are not all sealed up either. So let's take a look at some of these games. Okay, so the first game we want to look at is San Francisco Giants and the Philadelphia Phillies. This is the game of the day. That these two teams are at the very top of the NL wild card race with Philadelphia out in front. Philadelphia can really separate themselves from the Giants with a series uh, win this weekend. So in this game here, you see the Phillies come in average status. They are 3-3 three and three over their last six. While the Giants are ice cold down, they're coming off of a loss and 2-4 and four over their last six. If you take a look at the uh, over-under, you can see that the teams have been involved in games on opposite sides of the over-under line as of late. So it's a good idea to pass in the over-under bet in this scenario. The score prediction has Philadelphia by an 8-2 to margin, uh, a blowout win really, uh, by six runs with a confidence in prediction of about 61%. You take a look at the power ranks indicator. Philadelphia has been on a, on a uh, downward climb. They have not been playing as good a ball lately, although they uh, are coming off of a win. They're at plus 20, while the Giants are at plus 16. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams this season, it was all San Francisco out in uh, San Francisco back in May. And it was scores of 6-3, 4-3, and 7-4. But if we take a look at the stability factor, you will see that Philadelphia is a more consistent team with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 14 compared to the Giants at plus 4. I like reversal uh, in roles this time around. The Phillies at home now are going to take care of the Giants, and you will see them get that separation that uh, they are looking for as they get down to the last little over a month of the season. The next game we want to look at is the Mets and the Braves. Now, this game... On paper, early in the season, this would be like a very important game, but the Mets have not played well. I mean, lately they have, burning hot 4-2 over their last six, and Atlanta also burning hot 5-1 and one over their last six. But the Mets are going nowhere, really. They have very little chance of making the playoffs at this stage. Um, right now, the best they can do is try to knock off the Braves, uh, just for pride, really, because the Braves are not going anywhere. It's one of the best teams, if not the best team in the league. The score prediction has Atlanta by a 6-3 score, 58% level of confidence in the prediction. The teams have been trending games under the line as of late, but the general trend over the last uh, five, six games for each team has been over the line. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, not a surprise, the Braves at the top of the league at plus 29, while the Mets are at plus 7. Um, I guess I can take a look at this. Uh, well, Tony Osler showing that the Braves are Probably the most stable team in the league. I don't have the numbers for all the other teams off the top of my head here, but plus 36 is very high, and the Mets are at plus 14. They're also relatively consistent. In the end, I see this as a Braves win. Probably not much of a problem with them in doing so in the game over the line. Boston and Houston. Here's a matchup with the defending world champions still battling for a uh, playoff spot. Really, they are uh, in the wild card chase, and they're also chasing first place Texas Rangers in the division. They're coming in burning hot form two over their last six. The Red Sox are only a 10% chance right now making the playoffs. They're average down. Uh, they are three and three over their last six. On the power ranks indicator, surprisingly pretty close here, plus 24 to plus 18 in favor of Houston. Head to head, it's also surprising that the two teams have not yet met this season, although you know they don't play that many games against each other over the course of a season, but still, here we are in late August, and these two teams have not yet met. The score prediction has Houston by a comfortable 9-5 to five margin with about 53% level of confidence. And if you look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games over the line. So that's where I'm heading on this one. I like Houston to win this one in a game going over the line. The next game we want to take a look at is Cincinnati and Los Angeles Angels. Cincinnati coming in in a tie for the last... Uh, Wild card spot, so they are hanging in there. Their average stats at the moment, uh, alternating wins and losses over their last six. 
And the Angels come in ice cold up just 2-4 and four over their last six, although coming off of a nice 2 to nothing win over Texas. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in uh, 8 of the last 12. And the score prediction has a pretty high scoring game as well, 8-5, to five, but the confidence in the prediction is like the toss of a coin. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Cincinnati on the downward trend, as well as Los Angeles, Cincinnati at plus 10, and Los Angeles at plus 8 at the moment. Head to head, the teams have not yet met this season, and which is not a surprise being in opposite leagues. In fact, the last time they met in the regular season was in. Uh, actually, I don't even know when the last time was. I'm seeing here back to 2021, probably 2019 or so. Uh, the stability factor here, both teams are at plus 9. You can see they have not been very consistent as of late. You can see both teams were up around plus 10, plus 11 back earlier in the season, and just at plus 9 now, so up and downward as far as their stability factor goes. I like this to be a Reds win. They have more to play for, and I like it to be a high-scoring game. So the Reds and over the line. Now we want to look at Miami and San Diego. Miami's coming in right in the playoff chase, while San Diego is on the outside looking in. Uh, I don't expect them to make much of a push for the playoffs this season. San Diego's coming in ice cold down 2-4 and four over their last six, while Miami is averaged down. They're also coming off of two straight losses and 3-3 three and three over their last six. You see that the over-under, the teams are on opposite sides of the line. Miami in games over the line in the last two, while San Diego in games under the line in the last two. The score prediction is looking like to, to bet under if this holds true, but you see with only 35% confidence of a 4-2 win for Miami. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, Miami's coming in with a higher uh, number on the power ranks indicator, but you can see the trends have reversed, 24 down to 17, while San Diego was at 4 and they're up to 15. Have the two teams met yet this season? Let's take a look. Uh, yes, they have. They played three games in Miami uh, at the end of May and beginning of June, and San Diego won two of those three games. And in doing so, they outscored Miami by a 20-7 to 7 margin. So a pretty much dominating performance for San Diego. Um, I like this to go the same way. I like San Diego to win this and try to spoil the Miami Marlins playoff run. And the last game we want to look at is, let's see. Oh, that was the last game. Okay. We got through all of those already. Okay, there it is. Those were the games for Major League Baseball for August the 21st. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.